But we welcome you back. We're going to introduce you to uh, our good buddy, Matt Lee. Matt Lee is here, and uh, we're talking a wide range of uh, real estate issues this morning. Specifically, rates yes. uh, are still very low and unchanged. Yeah, so the, uh, the interest rate hasn't changed. Stephen Polos came out uh, last week and said, uh, who is, which is the finance minister, uh, and he said that they are not changing the Canadian bank rate 0.5%. Uh, they said that um, the, you know, the, econo like the economy okay. itself is just, there's too, too many uncertainties right now, so therefore they want to leave it low, um, and they will actually continue that through 2017, is what they forecast for right now. So that kind of trickles out into the interest rates in our mortgages. Okay. And I mean, it also trickles out into what we're making on our money in the bank as well. But um, what we're seeing for buying residential is that the interest rates uh, are around 2.7. They can, they can range anywhere from 2.5 to 3. Uh, for five-year fixed mortgages is what we're seeing. And that's uh, been the case for a long time now, years. Yeah, it's been trickling down a little bit. I mean, we were at, you know, let's say, what, 3.1, and then it was 2.99 for a long time, which and then is, it's been... Which people have never seen before, yeah, and it's even getting lower. Yeah, absolutely. So it's, it's, it is continuing down. So we'll, we'll see what happens in the next little while, but it sounds like 2017 is going to continue through that way. What's happening around the, the, the Queen's neighbourhoods? Investment student, areas. Student yeah, so investment areas. We're seeing that, uh, I'm seeing personally, this is a personal observation, but we're seeing uh, buyers out there, um, but we're not seeing a lot of inventory. So I believe that if somebody was looking at selling um, their home or selling an investment property around the Queen's area, St. Lawrence area, um, I would say that now is the opportunity. Even though we're getting close to Christmas, you're seeing that the single family residential is slowing down because people are kind of shifting into that Christmas time. Okay. Um, but the investors are still out there and still looking because I don't think that that really matters in, in timing of year. I mean, I don't think it matters in regards to snow because we've talked about weather yeah. before. Uh, so there are buyers waiting for properties to come on the market. Yeah, something that they're looking for. I mean, there is a few properties that are on the market, but maybe it's not exactly what they're looking for, but the inventory is low yeah. in that area. So I know that there are people out there looking and uh, there might be an opportunity there. I just learned something recently, and that is uh, with insurance. Not all insurances are created equal. And at this time of year, uh, a lot of people should be checking their policies. This is very interesting. I would, be, I would be calling the broker. And, and basically what it is is that if you're going away for a certain amount of time uh, over Christmas holidays, you want to make sure that if you had a flood, if you had a fire. While you're if, gone. If, while you're gone. If something happened and you were gone for a certain amount of time, if you're gone on certain policies, it could be 24 hours, it could be 48 hours. I don't know if it's much longer than 48 hours uh, in certain stretches. On policies, you need somebody to be checking your home to make sure that something hasn't happened. Furnace shuts down, all of a sudden we're dealing with minus seven weather, pipe bursts, your basement fills with water. So therefore, they want to make sure that they're covered and that everybody's kind of doing their part. So there's certain policies that maybe you can go away for an extreme amount of time if you shut the water off and that the heat's turned to a certain temperature but you really need to check with the policies because all the policies are different you don't want to come back from a christmas holiday and all of a sudden deal with a nightmare uh, because if you're not covered you're going to be paying for it just because you were gone for maybe three days you could be gone for three days if it's or a 48 week. hour yeah some you people could be, take off for the for florida for they could know. be gone to family and if they're gone for a stretch and if your policy says 48 hours or 24 hours and you're gone for 72 and something happens, you're outside that, that policy. And so you want to make sure that you're, you're following the guidelines, talk to the broker, make sure you understand and, and they're going to know because they have the policies on hand. Yeah. Uh, it's always, you just brought up a really good point is if you are heading away for holidays, just have someone check in. Yeah, yep. it's, a, it's a great idea because, you know, it, it, even Pick the, up the even, mail. Even if the, yeah, because, and don't, and don't put it on Facebook and don't put it on Twitter and don't tell people that you're going away. I mean, the thing is, is you're just inviting yeah. uh, chaos. I mean, it could be something, not that it happens every time, but it's one of these things we want to make sure that you stay safe, that your home stays safe, uh, and don't, uh, don't publicize that you're going away from your home for a long period of time. As always, great advice. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Matley. Yeah. Real Estate Tips, brought to you by Matt Lee of Royal LePage.